know the dangers of hurricane flooding and hurricane damage. In many cases, it's a matter of life and death. Now, Lee County is helping our first responders get resources where they're needed by investing in drone technology. Wink News reporter Brinkley Hill takes a closer look. Lee County has been using drones for years, and with a growing population, this technology is something that they'll continue to invest in. All of the technology allows us to provide that information to the responders so they can make better decisions faster. Benjamin Abez is the Lee County Public Safety Director. He showed me the Skydio drone and its docking station. These can be placed around the 1,200 square miles of Lee County, so officials have this advanced technology ready anywhere at a moment's notice. Instead of relying on still photos or third-party accounts, we were actually looking in real time at the conditions and able to make critical decisions much faster. This drone was a huge asset after Hurricane Milton last year. Officials were able to stream video from the drone to the command center. Videos of tornadoes were able to be sent to the National Weather Service. And after Milton, Lee County flew over Sanibel and Captiva to assess bridge and road damage. It was the first time because these drones will allow us to live stream that footage. We were actually looking in real time at the conditions and able to make critical decisions much faster. This drone was used in the response and can assist in emergencies or trainings like this one with Fort Myers Beach fire. If this were a real life situation, the drone could help assist in the attack with its infrared technology. And that tech can be used in multiple situations. So we can track people. If you have people that are you know, lost in preserves or um, you know, we're doing large area searches, that's another great utility for these drones. The county currently has six drones and just received a grant to buy four more Skydio drones that could be operational by January. Commissioners are expected to vote on that purchase Tuesday morning. From Fort Myers, Brinkley Hill, Wink News.